Hey everybody, this is Zach with the Bluebird Running Company in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And today I wanted to give you my first impressions of the Cloud Spark from On. It's one of On's newest running shoes. And um, I got a pair yesterday. I ran a few miles in it this morning. And just wanted to give you some preliminary thoughts about the shoe and also get into some of the lingo that's used on On's website and, and within some of the interviews that have been done with the designer uh, about the shoe and who is it was made for. Uh, first, I would say it's definitely different from uh, any other on shoe I've run in. It's a pretty stiff um, cushioning. Uh, it's very, <laughs> very inflexible. Uh, let me show you the the Cloud X, which is the closest frame of reference I have for the Cloud Spark. And here's the Cloud X. Uh, a lot more flexible, even though this is a firm feeling shoe. Um, this is a, an extremely firm shoe, uh, both in the forefoot and the midfoot and the heel. Uh, it's Helion foam, but it's a lot more dense. Um, it, it doesn't collapse as much as other Cloud Tech pods have in the past. If you can see this, I'm squeezing and I can't really push that down, even in the back. Um, it's very hard to get any kind of pressure on there. And again, I'll go back to the, the Cloud X3 here, um, which you can't really see, but it's a lot easier to squish. And there you can see some of that rebound or responsiveness that's in the shoe. Now, uh, I will say that this shoe, when I put it on uh, at first, it felt stiff. It's very lightweight. I don't have a weight for you. Um, I haven't seen that posted on On's website or anywhere else on the internet. So, um, and I don't have a scale in the store, but um, very lightweight and, and a lot of that comes from the upper. Um, but when you put the shoe on, you definitely feel the grounding of the, the outsole and the midsole, the, um, just how firm it is. Um, it really does have an interesting design. It's a departure from some of the other On shoes. Um, if you've run in shoes like the Cloud Eclipse or even the Cloud Surfer, you've probably seen similar design here in the forefoot. But here it goes from um, the toe to the midfoot and then it comes off, it cuts off. And then you get uh, the pod, the bigger pods here. And it looks more like, um, I would say like a high heel shoe, which is pretty interesting considering um, that this shoe is designed around a, a woman's last. And so what that means is that um, it was designed primarily for women. Um, a lot of the wear, test or wear testers were women and it was designed around their biomechanics as opposed to uh, a man's biomechanics, which is how most uh, running shoes are made. They're, they're made for a man and then they're condensed or shrink down and they're made into women's shoes. So this is uh, the first shoe from on that's made from the women's perspective. And it's, but it also comes in uh, men's sizes as well. So it comes in men's and women's sizes in a pretty similar colorways, three colorways right now. Um, anyway, this is a, I, I chose this colorway just because I think it was available and I like the brightness. I like the bright shoes. Um, one of the couple of details are, it has a, a little reflective um, outline here where the toe is and you can see the on logo and uh, there it is. And then you can see it on the outside and inside of the shoe, this is reflective. And um, one thing to know about that logo though, is it's an O and an N. It's not an O and a C and it's not a Q and a C, but it is represented an O and an N. So that's the on logo. So it's on the outside and also the inside. So you use it, get some uh, reflective detailing there which is kind of nice. So if you run in the late evening or at night or even early morning and you're out on the roads, this would be a nice shoe to have for that reason. And that's to be visible and protected from uh, any kind of traffic that's out when you're running. So um, nice little detail. Uh, the upper is really nice. I would say it's a very slender fit in the upper. So if you have a wide foot, um, it's not gonna fit you that well unless maybe you size up, but it's a pretty straight, uh, pretty straight um, upper build right there. So there's not really any flare 
or flex in the toe box like we see in some other shoes. And again, I'll, I'll show you the Crowd X 3, the way it flares in the toe box. Um, that's that's one thing that people like about this shoe is the fit of the Cloud X3. Um, so this is pretty straight and straightforward. So you're not going to get a curved foot. It's not uh, going to accommodate a wide foot. It's really made for women's feet or slender feet. Um, and some men will like that because some men do have slender feet. Um, so this is a shoe. This is a very niche shoe, I'll say, because... It's made for very specific runners, uh, one being a female. The other one is it's for runners who run in a seated position. And you'll see that on Oz, On's website. And if you do an internet search, you'll see that it talks about running in a seated position. And so what that means is that you're sitting almost literally like you are in a seating position. So your, your hips are not where they should be. Uh, probably your back and your arms aren't where they should be. So this is uh, this shoe is designed for people who have kind of a incorrect running form, and but I don't know if it's uh, designed to help them improve that running form, or if it's meant to adapt to their running form and make it a better shoe. Um, I still don't know, and I'd like to see more about it. There aren't any uh, video reviews of this shoe yet, even though it's been out uh, since early March. Uh, very little going on as far as reviews, but I would like to see a review from a, a female wear tester because that's who I think this um, shoe really targets. Um, and if we bring it into the store, that's what we'll bring in. We'll bring in the, fe the female uh, version of this shoe. Um, some things you'll notice, it does have the recycled component in the upper. Uh, it does have a lot of the embroidery. Uh, around the eyelets, which you'll see in a lot of sustainable shoes and shoe brands. Uh, if you see less over overlays, that's you know better for the envi environment, makes it more recyclable. Um, it does have a nice padded heel all the way around, and it also has a gusseted tongue. And so what a gusseted tongue means is that it's not detached from the top of the shoe. It's actually attached, um, let's see if you can see it in there. It's actually attached to the shoe on both sides, so you don't have to worry about the tongue moving whenever you tie it, or even putting the laces through the tongue because it's already attached to the uh, top part of the shoe. So that's a nice feature. Uh, anytime you see a gusseted tongue, um, you're probably gonna have a really good fit in, in, the, in the front of the toe box and in the midfoot right here. So uh, this is a really, like I said, straight, straight fitting shoe, not much curvature to it. It does have a really um, accented um, inner heel. So this is the inner heel right there and you can see it juts out quite a bit. And this is really uh, noticeable when you're running. If you look down and see your foot, uh, you can really see it popping out. And uh, it comes out even more than the Cloud X3, which does have a a bit of a flared heel, but uh, the Cloud Spark is a really a lot more pronounced. So I would say if you're a supinator, which is somebody who lands on the outside of their foot, um, this shoe would probably not be a good for you just because it's going to continue to push you over to the edge. Um, so this would be good for neutral footed people. And also if you have some slight uh, over pronation, it's going to give you some of that control in the heel. Um, so running this shoe, I ran in a, a looped uh, asphalt course and uh, noticed right away how firm it was, definitely. Um, I did feel like I moved quickly, but one of the things that Ron claims with this shoe is that it keeps a runner in the air more often than a regular shoe, um, which I didn't find that to be the case, but again, I'm, I wasn't measuring that or able to measure that in a substantial way. I mean, I would just have to compare it to like, say if I go and run in the Cloud Eclipse tomorrow and see how it differs. Um, I might see something there or feel something there, but it def definitely doesn't have the responsiveness of a shoe like that or most of uh, On's other running shoes. It's not responsive at all. In fact, it feels pretty flat on the ground, especially in the forefoot and the midfoot. Uh, so you're running, don't expect any kind of rebound or response 
to propel you forward. I didn't feel that at all. It does have the speed board that uh, was in a lot of older on running shoes, but here they brought it back. And it does have the, the deep channel that you're probably used to seeing. However, it's wider than the on shoes of the past. And you can see it in the Cloud X 3 where it's a little bit more narrower uh, channel there. And in this shoe, it's uh, wider. So you're not gonna pick up those small pebbles like you did in the past, maybe with some older models, but you might hit uh, a big rock. Maybe every once in a while, I might get uh, stuck in there and I didn't have any problems with uh, with the uh, rocks or stones getting stuck in this channel um, but again I'll just say it's a very very flat feeling shoe uh, on has it listed as a max cushion um, I wouldn't describe it as a max cushion shoe so if you've run in something like uh, the cloud surfer which is their softest running shoe or if you run in even the Cloud Eclipse, which I think the Cloud Eclipse is a good example because it has this external speed board, which acts like a truss on the outside of the outsole so that you're actually running on top of it. Um, it, it feels even stiffer than this shoe, which this shoe feels great, the Cloud Eclipse, if you haven't tried it. Um, and definitely the Cloud Monster 2, which does not have a speed board. Um, and you can see it has less deep of a channel there. Um, so anyway, so yeah, kind of flat feeling, kind of uh, an interesting shoe overall. Um, would I normally buy this type of shoe? Uh, no, and for myself, I do like some responsiveness. Uh, I do like a firm uh, shoe sometimes on some of my runs, but not not this firm. Um, and I'll show you again how, wow, th that doesn't flex. See how there's no flex and I'm really pushing on there. And for example, this is the Cloud X3. So in addition to being made uh, for female runners, um, runners who sit, who run in the sitting position as it's called, and that's something you could Google and there's a lot of information about proper running posture. Um, if there's those two things to th consider, and then I also thought about, well, what would I use this shoe for? So it definitely felt good on a shorter run um, on asphalt. It felt pretty quick and a little snappy. However, every time I landed, it was just landing on that firm uh, midsole, and I didn't really like that a whole lot. Um, I do prefer slightly softer or more responsive landing. And this shoe just doesn't feel like that. Um, uh, it's just a really straightforward shoe. So if you want a shoe for some runs where you want to run at an honest pace or see how you would really uh, run in a shoe that doesn't have all the bells and whistles, this would be a good shoe for that. I think it'd also be good for fartleks. Um, I don't know about long distance running yet. I'll have to wait and see after I get some more runs in. But again, this is just my first impression of the shoe. Um, so this shoe comes in at $159.99 uh, US dollars. And um, interested to see if you've tried the shoe and what you think of it. Um, it also does fit true to size. So I do get asked that a lot about different shoes. So this shoe uh, fits true to size. Um, like most on shoes do, or at least their running shoes. So the Cloud X3 fits true to size two. And again, that's my closest comparison is to this shoe. With the Cloud X3 was designed for gym workouts and short distance running, like up to three miles. Um, and so at the time before the Cloud Spark, to me, this was their stiffest shoe. Um, but this, the Cloud Spark, definitely stiff. Um, but again, like I said, it's gonna keep you at an honest pace and it's gonna help you gauge your real effort versus an aided effort that you would get from like a super shoe or something with a lot of responsiveness. So that's it. That's my review of the Cloud Spark. Um, hit me up if you have any questions about the shoe or any other 
of the on run issues i'd be happy to answer those questions i appreciate you tuning in and uh, if you get this shoe or are already running in the shoe let me know what you think of it